Hey besties, it's me Carrie from Terminal Doesn't Mean Goodbye, because you all know how I feel about that. Terminal does not mean goodbye. It means whatever, you know, you know how I feel about this anyway. I'm not going anywhere today and that's all that matters, right? So that's not goodbye. I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything going on. You can see I am at home, which is good. Um, I think it's really good. Um, Casey and I decided to work things out, which is really good. He is the one who instigated that, so that, that means a lot to me, too. And we had a lot of conversation. I don't want to go into great detail of that stuff because I feel like that's something that is super private. And that's not something that I want to be picked apart or anything like that. However, I do appreciate all of your support and love and affection. That means a lot to me. You guys have no idea. Um... But because of that, too, I'm, I'm not having to find another place to live, which is really fantastic. And um, so I'm just kind of checking in with you guys today. This angle is funny. I'm going to just, just go over. I'm using my phone today. Um, I know I'm kind of being a little bit lazy, but I'm really just dealing with a lot of the side effects still from radiation. And I can't wait for that those side effects to go away because it's been... It's been really hard. It's been hard to make, you know, to stand to, for very long without having to use a um, a cane or a wheelchair or something like that. And it's also been really hard on breathing as well. Um, and as I followed up in my other, um, I'm kind of wheezing a little today too. I think it's the weather. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, the radiation and my my tumors are. The first part of it is like right here. So, you know, it puts a lot of pressure all on its own, those tumors on my um, esophagus, my aorta, my, um, causes a lot of pain, a lot of pressure, difficulty breathing. And um, it sets off a whole chain of events with nerves in those areas too. And so radiation is hopefully, going. it works about 12 weeks, up to 12 weeks after um radiation is done so even though I'm done with my 12 I mean my 10 days of back-to-back -back appointments on that um it'll it should hopefully continue to keep working I have my I'm gonna get out of this position my my back and everything hurts too so anyway um everything hurts today I don't mean to be a whiny baby but it's just it's one of those days we're just gonna go with it right so, but I just figured I would share with you guys. Um, I'm, but be, I wanted to also go back and say, because I'm not moving out, I'm not in any need of anything. And I'm super appreciative of everybody offering. And I really wasn't sure what to do or how to do that. Or, you know, cause I've never, this, this is all new to me too. Um, there had been some accusations of how much I make a week on my post, which I'm, I'm honestly not even going to really respond to that because it's absolute nonsense and I'm not okay with people questioning my integrity and who I am as a person because I'm pretty straightforward with you guys. However, there are certain things I believe that I don't have to share absolutely everything with everybody all the time. That's not my right or, and that's not really what I'm here for. Um, so, I mean, I can keep things private as well, even though this is a public blog, but I get to, you know, go through that as well. So I, I guess some of the understandings for certain people on their beliefs of what I actually make per week is so very way off. And, um, anyway, I, I don't want to touch that. Um, going back to though, I really, really appreciate you guys, you know, putting input in and willing to do stuff, even though I'm not, don't really need anything at this point. Um, yeah. So where was I? I'm all over the place today. Super ADHD, but that's okay. I'm doing the best I can with what I got, right? Um, on Monday, I have a follow-up CAT scan, my three-month follow-up CAT scan that I do every three months. <laughs> and this one is on CAT scan of the whole body to see if there's metastasis in the, in the, um, the how my cancer is doing. And also I'm doing a bone scan too to see if anything changes and stuff on there too. Hopefully radiation will have worked by now for at least a little bit. But, oh geez, it is so difficult to swallow. 
it feels like, and I know some other people, you know, who have had radiation on neck, chest, head type of stuff. It feels like a big bolt or a big marble just sitting there that I can't um, swallow. And so I'm having to, it's changing a lot of my eating and my, I don't know what I'm looking over for. Um, it's changing a lot of my eating patterns right now, obviously, and my drinking patterns it's because it is so difficult to do both. And because of it, I have actually lost about 15 pounds in the last two weeks or so. And I, mean, I can't really see it from this angle, but um, I'm, you know, I'm noticing like a lot of extra little skin stuff that wasn't there before. And it's funny how much, you know, the getting compliments of, oh, Carrie, you look so great and blah, blah, blah. Your ro cheeks are rosy and all that stuff. And I'm laughing because it's, it's because I'm sick and this rosy stuff is actually a ton of eczema. It's not, um, it's not, I, it, this is super pale for me, <laughs> but I'll, when I'm feeling well, I'm a lot brighter, but then, you know, you put makeup on and all that stuff too. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up follow up there. Um, I'm probably missing all sorts of topics, but I'm just not feeling really good today and all this week I've had to, um, I only had just a couple of um, readings scheduled for this week, hoping that I was going to be able to work through those, but no way, um, I'm just not feeling good and I'm going to have to wait to start doing readings again when I'm feeling better. But you guys need to understand something too, that at this point when I'm doing readings, it's as... I can do them and I have doctor's appointments all over the place and all sorts of stuff that's cancer related. It's much easier for me just to say lump it all into saying readings or appointments because a lot of people, and I'm not saying anybody specific, but a lot of people tend to think that I'm just available to do readings all day, whatnot. And um, yes, the time that I have allowed or am able to, and sometimes I don't even know how I'm going to feel until that day. The spots that I would normally be available, I um, put appointments in there as I can do. But I, I never know until um, the day of, of how I'm feeling because cancer is cancer, you know. That's why I'm on full disability is because I can't work the way that I used to. And back when I was um, healthier and able to actually work, I was working two full jobs. So my regular barber job managing job, you know, hairdressing, and then also full-time doing readings as well. There's no way on earth I can do even a fragment of that at this point. Um, my booked all day is literally booked all day, but it's not quite what it looks like. And I do actually do a lot of, um, a lot of free readings too. It depends on what's going on. I'm not going to just like up front offer, Hey guys, here's all these free readings because I my, my social security only pays so much. So I have to be very, very careful of how much I actually make. Um, so that way it doesn't affect that. But it was pretty funny when, um, I'm hearing people say that I make like 5,000 a week. If that was ever the case like that, my God, not only would I not be saying, Hey guys, I need help. I would be in a totally different state altogether, and that is just not how that is. And um, readings and teaching, and I lump all that stuff into one thing because I do do mentorships, but they're not, I don't, for certain mentorships, I don't charge for them. Um, it depends on what we're doing and the work. I'm still doing a lot of volunteering with this too, but it, it's, it's as, as I see fit. You know, it's as my body sees fit too. Um, and when I, you know, the charging parts, I feel like that's okay too, because I do need to make a little bit of extra income just because my regular social security does not cover what that is. And, um, as far as me not reporting to social security, that's absolute nonsense. Um, I'm good to go. Trust me. Otherwise I wouldn't be posting something like this that could get, if I was doing something wrong, I could get flagged and go for it. Report me because I have nothing to report. Um, anyway, I'm just not going to, I, I addressed more than I wanted to actually address on here, but it's been something that has been really kind of upsetting me because it's been in an attack against my integrity and that's not cool. 
and I won't stand for that. So anyway, um, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, if you like what I do, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have a channel too, I'll subscribe to yours and same thing. Um, I've got a, some projects going, uh, coming up, but we're going to have to see how my body's feeling before I can actually initiate that stuff and actually let you guys know some new updates on that. Um, but kind of cool things in the works and love y'all. I will talk to you soon. Bye.